My name is Albrecht Schmierer. I come from Germany. I'm a dentist and I started uh, to work at the University of Tübingen for five years in research uh, concentrating on CMD problems, uh, joint and bruxism and chronic pain in the uh, masticatory system. Uh, by doing uh, very fancy procedures to the bite by using splints, we tried to cure the patient and it helped in about 80%. There was 20% of patients who we had no success if, if we tried very, very hard and uh, did a lot of work, were very precise. And when I left the university and started my own clinic, about 200 of those patients came into my own clinic. And so I almost went mad with those patients because they took a lot of time. They were not satisfied with, with what, what, what I was doing. And so I asked my sister, please, uh, she's a uh, psychiatrist, please, what uh, can I do with those mad people? <laughs> and she said, well, I know you are a dentist, you are compulsive, obsessive, you have no time, learn hypnosis. Because all the other uh, psychotherapeutic methods uh, take much more time. And so first I was very hesitant about hypnosis because I understood myself as a scientist as a clinician and hypnosis, this was a very bad word for me. But anyway, I had some pressure with those patients and so I joined my first uh, hypnosis lecture. Uh, it was Deborah Ross and Mark Lehrer. At that time, at 1980, a lot of Americans came to Germany to teach hypnosis, Ericksonian hypnosis. And after one first weekend, I hypnotized the two most uh, horrible cases I had and it was a success in both cases even if I did not know much about hypnosis. But uh, that made me very curious uh, to know more about hypnosis and then I saw a lot of American trainers like uh, Jeff Syke, like uh, David Spiegel, like uh, Kay Thompson, was, was the most important teacher for me, of course, as a dentist. And she also was um, somebody real who uh, I, I still love her very much. Uh, and I, I have her, her words and her, the sound of her voice. She, she is so peaceful and so expressive when she's talking. So uh, I joined through about 10 years many, many hypnosis seminars because I was uh, very much interested in that field after I stepped into it. Uh, one, um, what's his name? with the pendulum, the gynecologist. Uh, I saw him many times. He, he passed uh, about two or three years before. Uh, he was also very much in, ex, uh, impressing because he was the first one who showed very fast hypnosis. In the beginning, I uh, took about half to three quarters of an hour to do an induction and then I could work as a dentist. So it, it was so time consuming and we uh, taught hypnosis to other dentists since 82 but uh, they said it's nice but it's too time consuming. And so it was David Cheek. When I met David Cheek he induced hypnosis in two minutes with that pendulum. And I saw, oh, there is a way to make very fast hypnosis. And uh, some time I tried to uh, use his method. 
and <clears throat> we learned how to induce hypnosis in dentistry in about one to two minutes. And I think that was the most important change to go uh, from the psychotherapeutic approach to a more surgical approach. You really have to do it very fast if you want uh, that many dentists can use it. And uh, in 1994, I started a Dental Hypnosis Society with about 10 people and we started a specialized dental education which includes that we train our nurses for hypnosis assistance because in a dental field you jump from room to room and so you have to have somebody who can keep up the hypnosis and uh, assist with the hypnosis. Uh, in the last 10 years, uh, we educated about 3,000 dentists and in our German Society of Dental Hypnosis now we have 1,400 uh, people. Uh, we do two events every year. One is Gozo since 12 years. I started that before I started with the Society. And in Gozo, we have an average of 180 to 200 every year. Gozo is a small island close to Malta. And we will have there also our European conference next year. So you can go there before Easter for the dental group or in the autumn for the European Society of Hypnosis. And the other one is our uh, regular annual meeting, which is in Berlin, and it has about 400 participants every year. So uh, hypnosis in dentistry has developed very much in Germany. I'm teaching at uh, 12 universities, which is very time consuming, and you don't get any money for it. <laughs> but uh, it's important to go to the universities uh, that they know what medical hypnosis is like. And just the last two, three years, we started to do research on dental hypnosis because in Germany there is absolutely no literature about dental hypnosis. And so many of the professors say there's no literature, therefore it cannot be something important. But uh, about 3,000 dentists use it every day for anxiety, for gagging, for pain control, for stress control. And they are very much uh, uh, sub, sub, mm, they use it and, and like it.